In this, the tenth episode of Ulysses, Joyce reveals to us a character that has been present throughout, but has thus far gone unexamined. Dublin City itself. In Wandering Rocks, we leave the narratives of Stephen and Bloom behind, and Joyce explores the panorama of the city through a series of vignettes. People and places are introduced into the text without any preliminary description. Characters, dialogues and narratives weave in and out of each passage, crisscrossing each other with as many missed connections as matched. Here, at the centre of the novel, we have the feeling that Joyce is solving some sort of elaborate conundrum or an equation, like a chess game being played out before our very eyes on a city scale. The episode is bookended with a bishop, the superior, very reverend John Conmey SJ, and a king the Viceroy, the British King's official representative in Dublin, travelling from his residence in Phoenix Park across the south side of the city towards the bazaar. The two representatives of the colonising foreign powers never cross paths as they traverse the city in Wandering Rocks. Is Joyce suggesting that a tacit truce is in place, that the two have agreed to carve up Ireland between them? For all its clamour and bustle, Wandering Rocks resounds empty and hollow. Conversations are unfinished, journeys never completed. Narratives are abandoned as quickly as they are taken up. Dublin is presented as a meaningless maze.